Tony Law! Ah! Way to go, guys! Thank you for your encouragement! Good bit of encouragement there. Let's go! You're a maritime people. You love that sound. <laughs> Come on, I saw Sammy. Just move towards the coast just then. You're like, fuck my ships in. <laughs> it's what we do. We go get on boats and we go around the world and we fuck with it. <laughs> and then everybody makes us feel all bad about it later on. Let's go. Why is this guy talking in a Southern American accent? I thought he was from Canada. It's because I don't know who I am anymore, you guys. I don't think we're ever going to ever really ever understand the amount of mental health damage that's gone on during these lockdowns. I mean, this is, this is only the 98th time I've worn shoes in two years. I don't like them. They're very restrictive, aren't they? They're very restrictive. I miss the sandal times. I miss the pajama times. <laughs> uh, apart from the unemployment, those were good times. <laughs> I do have regrets. I wish I had to go into college so I could have enjoyed the pajama times a lot more than the people who had the jobs who didn't mind the pajama times. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> my, I don't know how I'm gonna, look, look I forgot how to dress. <laughs> I mean, did we wear top hats? Because I own a top hat, so I guess I must have worn one. Tony, please tell me you didn't bring that top hat just for that bit. I did. I brought the top hat just for that bit, and it's too tight. Oh, come on, don't you do that thing you just wake up in the morning and go, you just go, I'm going to talk like this today. It just feels right. And you start early today, I'm more interested in what I think. I'm thinking it, it sounds much well, more, it's better than my normal thinking voice. Well, you gotta be careful though, you start talking like that too early in the day and then the wind changes, that's you fucked for the rest of it. <laughs> then you find yourself and you're going into the BP petrol because you're looking for the good cookies. <laughs> you're looking for the goddamn good cookies. Because BP on their own don't have the good cookies. M&S on their own don't have the good cookies, but when they come together, they got the best cookies. <laughs> it tastes like birthday cake. And there's some of you know exactly what fuck cookies I'm talking about. They're called tea pan packing number lock eight. You know. <laughs> They're good cookies, you know, lock eight. So, uh, <laughs> woo! Oh, I better introduce myself. My name's Tony, and I originally come from Kennedy. <laughs> Do you know I forgot how I used to speak? <laughs> 30 years I've lived in this country, guys. 30 years! 30 years I've lived on these islands, these shitty rainy islands on the edge of Europe. 30 years out here in the middle of the Atlantic. How do you do it? We. 30 years and I'm still, but I thought by now I would have had a cool local accent. You know, not a posh one, you know, no offense. Or a proper working class accent. But I haven't, I haven't picked one up. Maybe I moved around too. Well, I'll tell you what, I like that one there. That's me fucking favorite. <laughs> That's me favorite, but I can't fucking sustain it. <laughs> I can only do it two minutes, then it gets all fucking clowny. <laughs> and I can only do the words I've chosen to say within this bit right now. <laughs> Hello, I'm Tony. I come from the generic northern area. <laughs> No one sounds remotely like how I do it, but you don't mind me having a go because I'm foreign. <laughs> At least he's having a fucking try. At least he's having a... Because when you get the old uh, the Hollywood uh, actor fucking types, you know, the ones that do the movie. Who watches movies now? Well, with, you know, <laughs> when you get an American movie actor from America, uh, they, 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 at some point in their career, they go, oh, time to fucking get in the awards mix. Let's try and let's dust it up with the awards. Let's go over to England, do an English accent. 
And they only choose from a very small pool. They only choose one of two accents, the Americans, when they come over. Uh, the first one they go is, they go, oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> uh, seriously, hey, fantastic. Uh, I'm acting. <laughs> oh my God, I'm wearing a costume. Let's see. Uh, I care about all the issues. I do see much. They do that one, right? <laughs> Usually win an award. That's how they win an award. Or the other one they choose is, oh, I'm a fucking gangster, in it, you can't. <laughs> Well, they don't do it as well as that shitty version I did. <laughs> well, they never come over, right? Tom Cruise there, he's over, he's a uh, crazy, crazy fella. Uh, yeah, good flying movie though. And, uh, you know, can't take that away from him. Yeah, oh, he's short, I don't give a fuck, that's a good flight movie there, right? <laughs> My dad was inside of me just then. Whoa, 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 whoa. But, uh, no, you know, like, Tom, <laughs> Tom Cruise, he doesn't come, I like to see Tom Cruise come over, do a movie over, and he's like, right, I'm going to climb up that fucking building. <laughs> I'm going to go in window, get on laptop, and fuck about. <laughs> fuck about on laptop for a while, shut off some cunting lasers. <laughs> then I'm going to dive back out window onto helicopter, and then I'm going to fuck off. <laughs> fucking brilliant. I'd love to see that. Let me just check the notes. Let me just check. Yeah, no, that's exactly how it's supposed to have gone so far. I was hoping for more from some of that. Whoo, I am insecure. Some of you guys are well lit, and hello, a lot of you are really enjoying it. One or two just have switched off every once in a while. I'm not going to look at you. I'm using the power of peripheral vision. You need to enjoy it a little bit more, buddy. <laughs> Salt and pepper. But, uh, <laughs> oh, hey, looking around, good to see so many triple vax people in. <laughs> oh, man, that was way funnier a few months ago when it was only like old fuckers like me and you <laughs> who were triple vax. Now everybody's all vaxxed up. I miss the old times when it was just only the old. I, like, I love the division. I'm really enjoying these times, these recent times. I love the division. I do. I dig it. I, I, I get off on them. People not liking each other. I like it. It's good times. I'll never forget my first vaccine. Oh, I mean, how could you? This will stay with us all. Everyone remembers their first vaccine. Remember, the queue was long. Because they did the two meters with the stickers. <laughs> stickers, stick, And it went on and on and on. And I thought to myself, fuck, I'm going to be here for at least two hours. And I, I even did the maths. I scrunched them up in my mind. I thought, even if they were scrunched up, still two hours. <laughs> and my first thought was, what a terrible time to forget my phone. <laughs> I'm going to have to stand here for two hours using my imagination. <laughs> I stood there going, ah, 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 ah. What do people think about? Oh, oh, oh. oh I'm less angry. Uh, I was looking at my hand. Uh, it's like that first time you give up porn, and you know it's a good thing to try. First time you give up porn, you're like, mm, you know, you're on the road, you're in a travel lodge, and you're like, I think I might, I might do some masturbation tonight. Uh, physically, it feels the right time. But I'm not going to use my phone. I'm going I'm to use my mind. Uh, 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 put ITV on. Uh, nobody knows how to use a remote anymore. Back on the phone. Anyway, um... I was lying. I fooled y'all. I didn't get your fucking government vaccines. No way, man. I didn't get. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get your Astra Martin. I didn't get your funky cold Moderna. No way, man. I got my vaccines off the dark web. Cause at least you know what you're getting. And what you're getting is a serum by a guy called Ilyich in Moldova. 
who also sells me Bitcoin and guns. That's my favorite part of my set, all downhill from here. Now it's just complaining, now complaining time. Oh, this bloody lockdown weight. I just, I'm so depressed about my lockdown weight. I just can't shift this lockdown weight. I, I, just, I mean, it's the exact same weight as before the lockdown. <laughs> now it's got a name. My lockdown weight, don't like it. Bloody lockdown weight. 11 years. 11 years I've been carrying this lockdown weight. Absolute nightmare, you know. But you know, there were some magical moments for me during those times, you know, like, uh, I mean, actually not that long ago. Um, at, we were all sitting on the sofa. There's my wife and myself and our two, uh, I was going to say two twins, but there's only one set of twins there. There was two children. There's my wife and two children who are twins. None of, none of this is helping the set at all. I've only got a limited amount of time up here. But I've always struggled with maths. There they were. Anyway, there they were, one larger than the other, a male and a female. No, not identical. I, I've answered that quite a bit in life. Are they identical? Well, that's a boy one. And, and that's a girl one. So, uh, well, I, I don't know. I don't know, you tell me. Same body, different houses. <laughs> Two separate houses in my tiny wife. <laughs> the toughest human being I've ever met. Anyway, there they were. And this has got nothing to do with this. Sh this bit is so fucking unrewarding after all of that buildup. <laughs> anyway, we were sitting there on the sofa and we were all playing Minecraft. All on different devices. I mean, the children were on, one was on my wife's old phone, and the boy was on my old phone, and we were on new devices, <laughs> playing Minecraft. And then it dawned on me, I really need to make sure this marriage works. Because I'm not hitting the dating scene anytime soon. <laughs> With good results, so what are your interests? I like playing Minecraft. <laughs> with my wife and two kids. They're twins, two different houses. Same body, fun, isn't it? He, he liked talking about that? Anyway, so, uh, but that wasn't, that wasn't the magical moment. The magical moment was my back fat finally met in the middle of my back. I was sat there and I heard this ping. I didn't put anything in the microwave. It's my back fat. I'm finally whole. Look at me, I'm punching my spine. Tony, be careful, that's your spine. It's safe. My back fat protects it. I look like I know more about computers than I do now, but uh, <laughs> nonetheless, but um, now, if any of you out there are like me and you have back fat, and you also love dams, Aswan, Three Gorges, Hoover, there's loads of dams. There's only three that come to mind. If you have back fat and you love dams, then you know bath time is the time for you. So what you do is you get into the bath and you create a lovely tight seal in the middle of the bath creating two separate water tables <laughs> of different depths. I am a dam. I am a dam. Ooh, better make some clean electricity. <laughs> Not too much, Tony. You don't want to flood all the villages. <laughs> I am a dam. Yes, my love, that's why the door is closed. I'm playing dance. It's not like the olden times. I have new problems now. <laughs> I am a dam. 
Nothing bad could happen to me, a dam, here in the Ruhr Valley in 1942. <laughs> oh, this routine's, this routine's different now. I am a dam in the Ruhr Valley in 1940. Oh no, that sounds like a Lancaster bummer. <laughs> How do you know it's a Lancaster bummer? Because it sounds exactly like four Rolls-Royce Merlin engines strapped to the same fuselage. Oh no, that's a really specific routine tone. I can see why you haven't been on TV for uh, a bit over 10 years now. He's not controversial, but he does insist on doing airplanes. Wow. I mean, the BBC would love to have him. Wow. I mean, it's the gut. Wow. And there's only ever like three nerdy guys in are going, yeah, he's quite right, actually. That's exactly what the Rolls-Royce Merlin engine sounds like. You know, when you put four of them on the same fuselage, it makes a sort of wow. Individually on the Spitfire, it's more of a Put it on the Hurricane, for some reason they had to turn the revs down, it's more of a Nonetheless, gives you an idea what Jerry had to listen up into the night to. Look at me making fun of a person I'm pretending to not be like. That's total asshole. Wow. Wow. Bomber command, bomber command, this is your pilot speaking. Wow. You can tell I'm a pilot, because I'm posh. <laughs> We're the only ones allowed to fly a plane in this day and age. Wow. I know, I'm the rear gunner and I'm five foot two and I'm malnourished. Everyone thinks Empire helped everybody, but it fucking didn't help me. It helped that cunt in the front. Wow. I'm also working class, but I can't do the accent as well as I can do that cunt in the back. Wow. I'm trying to get across the point that I've also don't have access to the good vittles. <laughs> Tony, have you just started with the word vittles and thought, how can I get that into a set? <laughs> and in case you didn't know this bet was about class, I've added another one. <laughs> I'm fucking, I, I'm your fucking seat gunner on your side there, like fucking. It's meant to be Northern Irish and it should be better than that. Because my grandparents, uh, <laughs> Alfie and Gertie Law are from Northern Ireland, and they're like fucking talking. They never said fucking in their lives, the only way I can do it. <laughs> but when I was growing up in Canada, I, all I knew is they came over, they get out of their slums, and then they go and be terrible farmers. <laughs> they take city slum people and go, here's a farm. I mean, it's better than nothing, isn't it? <laughs> I fucking do it, dude. Anyway, <laughs> point, point is. The, the, the only old people I knew were them. Alfie, no, Alfie and Gertie. They were small, weren't they, the olden days people? <laughs> That's how you could tell someone is act like. <laughs> you know, because everyone's, we're all big now, but you could tell, like, like, if you're, like, if you're, like, come from a working class family and you look at photos, if there are any, your grandparents are about that big. Posh people are like, oh, I've got a big fucker there. But well, the rest of us are all like, I fucking, you wait. <laughs> you fucking wait, man. Two generations are good vettles. <laughs> Bread. You'll be fucking Jane one day. And they'll waste every fucking opportunity. Anyway, no. I, uh, anyway, they're the only old... They were the only old people I knew, and they were the only people I knew who talked like that. So I just assumed that's what happened to you when you got old. You're, you're 69 years old, start talking your fucking yet. 
It's at 68. Anyway, I, I've waffled that bit on too long. I know when I've overstayed my welcome. It peaked about four minutes ago. That was the sweet spot. One thing I learned, though, you know, um, I tried to, you know, you try and better yourself, get into new hobbies, try new stuff. And this is just some advice I'm going to give anybody I meet is, uh, hey, guys, if you want to get into falconry, <laughs> you need more than just the glove. I was stood there for hours going, when does this shit get good? Land, fucker, land. Pigeon, pigeon. Fuck that shit. Tony, that's not even a falconry glove. I know. I know it's a gardening glove. What kind of a gardener needs a glove like that? You fucking freaks. If you're in, you gardeners. Yeah, I mean, bless you. Yeah, I know. Gardeners are like to pretend they're in the cavalry. Whoa. We're going to move out. That's the type of gardener. God, you guys are such a good crowd. Everyone overruns. Whoa, that was a revealing laugh. <laughs> brought me on after some pretty extended intros. <laughs> that's not true, that's not true. It's the other comedian with Iranian heritage, you know. And an Irish name. No, yours is a Welsh name, this is Monaghan, but anyway. Uh, I'm not saying it's anything to do with the Iranian part. Wow, that was terrible. <laughs> I don't even know how to play this. What am I doing? <laughs> Tony, please tell me you didn't bring that glove and that guitar just for those bits. I did. <laughs> I did. You've been very kind. Thank you very much indeed.